Good morning, it's quarter to eight. Um, this is my wife's Model 3, and I'm gonna to attempt to drive to Scotch Corner on one charge, which is 306 miles. The car is showing 309 miles of range, so let's see if we get there. Third exit. So in front of us is the sea. Um, I don't know if you can see that through the uh, camera here, but uh, we're just going on the coast road now. And uh, if I get the opportunity, I'm gonna pull up and do a film to my handheld camera. As you can see, we're in Southbourne, in Bournemouth on the coast. There's the sea, and uh, behind us there, in the distance, are the Purbeck Hills. I don't know if you can see them, with the white cliffs. And into the sun, hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure. It is Hengus Head and the Isle of Wight. There it is, behind that coast. Indeed, the Isle of Wight and the Needles. There you go. And the question is, how far can a Tesla Model 3 go on one charge? We have used a mile of battery coming here, um, 307 miles showing. So let's get on with it and get you to uh, somewhere in Yorkshire, possibly further. Well, I haven't driven this car very much. It's my wife's car. She's done about six, 700 miles on it. And uh, I have to say, it differs slightly from the, uh, the Model S that I've been driving for the last two years in a number of ways. It's obviously a little bit smaller. It's got a similar range, um, over 300 miles uh, for real, if you drive it sensibly. And today I will be driving sensibly. I'm not gonna drive at 80, 90 all the way. I'm going to drive at, at speed limit speeds where I can. Um, gentle acceleration does help. And as you saw, I put the tires up to their maximum pressures earlier, which also uh, improves your range. If you're down two or three PSI, it can affect your range by up to 10% and all the hypermilers will up their, uh, their pressures. I'm gonna use climate control when I need it. At the moment, it's, uh, it's about 15 degrees outside and it's sunny, so I don't need it switched on at all. In fact, a little bit of window is enough to demist the car inside beautifully. So I'll drive at the speed limit, as you can see, where possible. Uh, I'm not gonna drive particularly slowly. I'm gonna see what the car's like for real uh, in town, and obviously we've gotta drive through town and motorway conditions. You know, we know what they're like in town. They don't use as much uh, energy in town. You get your regen. Uh, it's on the motorway where electric vehicles are less efficient. Uh, obviously the Tesla Model 3 has excellent aerodynamics and uh, very efficient power electronics and a large battery. So all those put together uh, give you a combination of a very large range. Let's see what happens when we get onto the dual carriageway. Using car 
cars in front of me that are large, like this uh, this um, Ford Transit van, that are doing the same speed as I am. I mean, that's just common sense. That will help you uh, improve your fuel economy and not pulling in and out and accelerating and decelerating all the time. Although the car is on um, on traffic aware cruise control, so that is decelerating and accelerating gently with the traffic in front of me. Uh, I'm not blasting past things and pulling back in, and that just wastes fuel whatever car you're driving um, but you know he's pulled out so I'm following him and up we go to 70 again that's just keep it rolling keep the car rolling nicely and you shouldn't have any problems uh, Barnsley is now 23% due to um, efficient driving the uh, distance we've come is uh, 55 miles in the in the hour so that's not a bad average speed including the slow drive out of Bournemouth is it really and uh, yeah on we go we're more than halfway to Oxford now um, I think I'm gonna sign off until we get there uh, I definitely will need a uh, toilet stop at some point on the way probably in Oxford I'm not gonna charge the car in Oxford let's see how far we can actually go on a single charge that's that's the key thing that's what this is all about so let's do it I have uh, over 180 miles range remaining when the battery meter, the typical range is showing 162. So obviously maintaining a constant steady speed does make a big difference to your energy economy and making sure your tyres are nice and fully pumped up before you go. And driving in ideal conditions like this, there is very little wind today. I haven't had a tailwind like I normally would have coming from the southwest. Uh, going north. If you look at the trees, they're hardly moving. I don't know if you can see the trees, but there is no wind today at all. So I would imagine I get a very similar uh, energy economy going north as I will going back south again. As you can see, the signs above there say the north leads Sheffield M1. Uh, on the map here, we're approaching Sheffield. We're doing 68, 69 miles an hour. And we have done, here we go, ready for it. We've done 200 miles, there you go. And what's remaining in the tank is 111. So we've actually improved on our initial uh, startup mileage of 308, 309 to 311. We're running at a lower watt hours per mile than rated. Um, and at motorway speeds, no less, uh, which is great. It's very good. The car's doing exactly what it says it would, which is lovely. Uh, we'll arrive at Barnsley with 25% battery and um, to be honest I think I've proved my point if I get to Barnsley with 25% battery there's no point in uh, going any further really because I'll have done what I set out to do and show that the Model 3 is a very very good long distance uh, tour which it is we, we all know that um, especially when you you're paying about half the price of petrol even if you're supercharging to, to charge the car up. As I left from home with my uh, 5 beer kilowatt electricity, uh, I'm paying about well, about 1.5p a mile, if that, probably less to be honest, to do this journey. And some of mine comes from my solar panels on my roof as well, so even less than that, probably about a penny a mile, um, we pay to run our cars on fuel. Coming up to the uh, junction for Tankersley uh, on off the M1, we've done Bournemouth to Barnsley in uh, four hours and ten odd minutes, and we've covered 236 miles in that time, which is just under 60 miles an hour average speed um, at an average consumption of 225 watt hours per mile. We've arrived here at Barnsley with. Uh, 25% battery remaining, 77 miles on the meter. This is what the uh, Model 3 screen shows when you're charging. Uh, I've plugged in here and unfortunately I'm sharing the only pair there is in Barnsley with another car. So as you can see, the minute charge rate only goes up to 90 kilowatts. But that's still enough to put uh, enough charge in the car 
uh, for the trip home in 35 minutes. This 15 minutes uh, showing here was enough to get us to uh, Scotch Corner, which we didn't go on to in the end. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more Tesla videos, Model 3 and Model S.